morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic for today is from our friend Sania. And here it is. How to ask for forgiveness. I feel really bad of what I did to the person who is special to me, but I don't know how to ask forgiveness. And if I do, I'm scared that she doesn't forgive me. Please tell me coffee with C. How to make someone forgive you? You can't. You have to realize that you cannot make someone to forgive you. Forgiveness has nothing to do with you. It comes from oneself. Just like I referenced to my previous video about how to forgive someone even if it hurts, which is this and you can watch it here. Forgiveness has nothing to do with the person who hurt you, which in your case, it is you. It comes from oneself. Now we're going to talk about five steps that you can do to ask for forgiveness and hope that this person will eventually forgive you. Number one, ask to be forgiven, but don't expect anything in return. Ask, don't demand. You'd probably say, okay, see, what's the point? Why do I need to ask for forgiveness when I know I can get it anyway? I don't want to look dumb. I don't want to look like a loser. Ask for forgiveness and be consistent with it. I've seen this so many times. When someone said sorry to a person and the other person said, I can't forgive you right now. The response was, well, I'm not sorry anyway. I'm not going to be sorry when you're ready to forgive me. The world doesn't work like that. You cannot negotiate. You messed up, my friend. I get it. It hurts, but it's part of it. Even if you believe that you didn't do something wrong, you need to understand this first. You need to be willing to truly ask for forgiveness without expecting anything in return. You need to have a radical mind shift right now to move on to number two. Be ready to listen and do not ever be defensive. It doesn't matter who is right or wrong. The point is the person was hurt by what you said or done. You need to let go of your ego to move forward in this process. When you ask for apology, you need to be ready to be vulnerable. You have to put yourself out there and acknowledge the other person's feelings. You have to have the balls to listen to whatever the person has to say without getting hurt and defensive. People are not robots. You can't tell them what to feel and when they should change their feelings. You know, it's hard to forgive someone, especially when the other person opens up his or her feelings and you start arguing and start being defensive because you do not want to hear about the things that you did wrong. It's the right to tell you what they feel and why they are hurt. Even if it means stepping on your large ego, deal with it large person respect the person's time and give him or her space even if they forgive you it doesn't mean that everything has been restored and everything goes back to where it was before i mean i, I know i always tell you guys if at first you don't succeed try and try again this doesn't apply in this situation okay you have to give them space you need to back off you have to give the person space and time to heal. You just created a wound to him or her. And you cannot just remove it right away. Give him or her space where they can heal and go through the process of forgiveness. Back off a little bit. Don't be constantly showing up and asking them, hey, when are you going to forgive me? No, it doesn't work like that. Number four, genuinely repent. And how do you do that? You have to show him or her that you are not just apologizing because you got caught or you just want to get over it. A real apology is not something that, I'm sorry, you are upset. A true, authentic apology where you express your repentance is this, I'm sorry, because my poor choice of action and words caused harm to you. I recognize that you are hurt. 
as a result of what I did or what I said. You will help to foster the environment of forgiveness and potentially soften their hearts. The genuinely repent doesn't end here. You also have to show him or her through your actions. Words are words, but it doesn't mean anything if it's not applied to actions. Number five, pray for them. You cannot change someone's feelings and thoughts. Only you can change yours, but not someone else's. And the only thing you can do once you have done the previous steps, pray for them to be able to find forgiveness in their hearts. Regardless of what you have done, seek for guidance. Wish them to be able to open up again. Pray for them, for them to be able to find peace in their hearts to let you in again. Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community. And your topic may be next. Until next time!